now we learn how to create a pipe in word first create a site then zone after that we will create a pipe name the pipe name the branch now there are two methods of creating a pipe first is with connecting if you know the head and tail of that pipe we can connect we don't know head and tail we know explicit positions of that coordinates of that uh, head and tail then we will choose for explicit now give the coordinates let head be e0 north 0 up 0 size be 80 nb and direction be north we will apply it now we will select the tail as the direction is north we will give the north coordinates let it be 5000 the direction will be opposite the direction will be opposite that is south and we will apply it the pipe will be made now we have to modify this if we give the equal size or make a reducer then pipe will complete like this that there is no equal size there is a reducer of 50 nb now i have to create a component here i can create a reducer of 50 nb concentric then the size matches and pdms automatically created, uh, creates the pipe that is how pdms works now like this you can create any component if you need to create a t we will click on t and create it give the size okay now if we need to let's say stub t in t there are different forms first is stub straight, uh, straight t or socolette welder it every branching fitting is in t itself now if i have to move from backward position i will click backwards here and then click on branch that I have to create a valve here, then I will create it, and valve will be made at back side. That is how to create components in PDMS. Now, in case I need to give a branch, then I will click on, click on that component, create components. I will create a T. Create it. Straight T. Apply. Now this is the T. From here, I can give new branch. That is how to do pipework in PDMS.